How, what's the vibe like over here in, in this great city? Man, NOLA is pretty crazy. We went to Bourbon Street last night, and uh, Steve got a couple of beads over there. Oh, I'm just kidding. He didn't get any beads, but, uh, but it's, a, it's a pretty wild town. So it's a, it's a ride town, but I like the energy out here. Uh, how were the weigh-ins like, and what was your first meal? The weigh-ins were very smooth, like usual. I never had a problem weighing in, and uh, my first meal was going to be boring for you. It was just a piece of toast and some oatmeal. Oh, man. Boo. <laughs> no, no gumbo, shrimp, no, no any oh. soul food. No, I, I have, I've never tried gumbo, and I would not try gumbo before a fight, oh. just in case, you know? But after the fight, hell yeah, I'm going to try some gumbo. I mean, it might give you some, like, pre-fight powers, you know? No? Maybe, but I think you got to find the special spots that are, like, away from the tourist areas, and we're not sure where they are yet, you know? we got to talk to some locals. We haven't spoken to any locals yet about that. And you're facing Tatsuki Mutsuda. I hope I pronounced that name right. Uh, what do you think of this matchup? I think it's a great matchup. It's going to be a fun fight uh, for the fans. And I think he's a great opponent, and I respect his skill set, and I respect him. And uh, I look forward to sharing the cage with him. How do you envision this fight playing out? I'm not sure if you're a fan of predictions, but if you were to have a prediction, what would you put your money on? I hate predictions. I don't do predictions. Uh, when? That's the prediction. When? That's, that's the prediction. That's always the hope. Uh, fighting's crazy, man. It's, uh, it's fun, you know. I like the... I like the uncertainty of it all. That's that's what makes it the most interesting. But obviously, a win is the prediction. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, this is party city that we're in. Are you a party guy? And like, how would you celebrate this one? I am a happily married man, so I am not a party guy. Uh, but you know what? I like to I like to have fun with my boys. We're out here with my boys, so we're gonna go get some, uh, have some beer, have some fried chicken. We're gonna have a good time. My brother's out here. Uh, so, uh, go eat at Billy K's in Montreal right now, guys. It's the best burger spot in the whole city. Blows anything else out of the water. Any other burger you have will be the worst burger of your life compared to Billy K's. If Louis gets a, a knockout, finish, impressive victory, I know your brother owns that restaurant. Will he have, will he have to name something after you, like a the Louis burger or something like that? No, no, I'm going to make it even bolder. If I win like that, my brother's going to give free burgers to everyone for life. We're going to put him out of business. <laughs> I'm putting him out of business right now. Uh, awesome. If you had your own restaurant to compete against your brother, what would the restaurant names be? Honestly, I can't. I, I could not compete against my brother. He is way too good he's been doing it way too long and uh even my wife prefers my brother's food which sucks uh so uh there's no there's no way i'd ever try to compete with my brother and he'd never try to compete with me in fighting you know what i mean we stay in our lanes we know we know where we stand i'm a good little home cook but outside of that no chance i want to talk about your last xma appearance uh you know i don't <laughs> i don't well you either win or you learn it's not a loss um, it is very true what did you learn from that setback? I learned you got to really take your time, which I normally do. I just, uh, you know, I got a little flustered and I just went for it and uh, made an egregious mistake. And uh, Cody Gibson is a great opponent, so uh, he did his thing, you know. He, he's he been tearing up too. I know he, he fought recently and lost a pretty, pretty, pretty close fight to Ray Borg. Uh, but he's, he's a great fighter, man, so I can't take anything away from him. He was the better man that night. And what goals and what goals and dreams do you have for the rest of 22 after this? Just keep winning, man. That's that's. Uh, I don't like to go too far into the future. I like to live in the here and now. So uh, win this fight tomorrow. Uh, celebrate my family. Just have a good time and uh, keep winning, man. And keep training. I love training, so that's why I do it. You know, I love I love to train. I love the camaraderie at the gym, and uh, I love to compete. You seem like you have a very good energy around yourself, around your team as well. Uh, as we make the energy into the arena, what's going to be your walkout song like? Oh man, that's a surprise. I, I, I love my walkout song though. Uh, but it, 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 it's a great one. I've been in a Kanye mood lately, so you guys are in for a good time. Uh, Kanye, now that you brought it up, what do you think about this whole Pete Davidson thing? Hey man, I don't, I don't comment on stuff like that, man. Whatever, that's like, that's such personal stuff that I don't know any of the finer details about you know so I, I stay out of that I leave it alone for sure for sure and uh, what message do you have to send to your fans and fr friends and family like uh, what message do you have to say to them ahead of this fight guys I love you all 
Uh, I love the support. I feel the love, and uh, I can't wait to see you guys when I get home. And separate message, what's your message to your brother? The message to my brother, you better have those burgers coming when, I, when we get back to Montreal. Better keep them coming, man, for like two weeks straight. Awesome. Well, uh, make sure to catch Louis Fire XMMA 4. We're here for it. Thank you, guys. Uh